Hello friends, I am Anvesha and welcome to my channel. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon so that you get notified for my next videos. In the description box down below, you will find the link to um, my telegram channel. Please join the telegram channel so that uh, you get notified for my free session. The first question is a castlet DI. Let's try to solve it. Four singers, namely Abhijit, Arijit, sorry, Arijit, Mithun, Bohemia, and Man, compose two types of songs that is pop and rock. Number of pop songs composed by Arijit is 180 less than the number of rock songs composed by him. Okay, so let's make a table here Arijit, Mithun, Bohemia, and Man. Pop and rock. Okay. Now, ratio of okay number of pop songs composed by Arijit is one eighty less than the number of rock songs composed by him. So, if rock songs is eight, then pop song is one x minus one eighty. Okay, after that ratio of the number of pop to rock songs composed by Mithun is 7 is to 8. Mithun it is 7 is to 8. Fine. Um, total number of songs composed by Mithun is 1575. So, total is 1575 for Mithun. So, we can say 7 plus 8 that is 15 is equal to 1575. So, 1 is equal to your okay yes 1 is equal to 105 so 7 is equal to 7 into 105 that is 735 and 8 in 8 into 105 is 840 okay now total number of songs composed by Mithun is 1575 which is 25 percent more than the total number of songs composed by Arijit. So, this is 25% more, which means what? Which means if Arijit is 4, then Mithun is 5. Okay. So, 5 is equal to 1575, then 4 is equal to how much? 5, then 1 is equal to 5, 3 is a 15, 5, 1 is 5, 5, 5 is 25 into 4. So, it is 26, 1, 2, 6, 0. 1, 2, 6, 0 is the number of songs composed by Arijit. Now, total number of rock songs composed by Arijit and Bohemia is 12 is to 7 by Arijit and Bohemia. Okay, let's find the number of pop and rock by Arijit. So, x plus x is 2x. 2x minus 180 is 1260. So, 2x is equal to 1260 plus 180. So, x is equal to how much? So, x is equal to 720. x is 720 and pop is 720 minus 180. Okay. Seven two zero minus one eighty is five hundred forty. Okay. Ratio of number of rock songs composed by Arijit and Bohemia is twelve is to seventeen seven, which means pop songs by uh, sorry uh, rock songs rock songs by Arijit is twelve. So twelve is equal to how much seven hundred twenty. Then 7 is equal to, 1 is equal to how much? 60 and then 7 is equal to 420. So here it will be 420. Now number of pop songs composed by Bohemia is 20% less than the same by Mithun. Pop songs by uh, Bohemia is 20% less than Mithun which means if Bohemia is 5 then Mithun will be, uh, sorry, 
Bohemia is 20 percent less. So if if Mithun is 5, then Bohemia will be 5 minus 1, that is 4. So 5 is equal to 735. So 1 is equal to 147. Then 4 is equal to how much? 588. Okay. Now, next. Next is number of pop and rock songs composed by man is 102 less and 12 more respectively than that of Bohemia. So, pop is 102 less than Bohemia. Pop is 102 less than Bohemia. So, 588 minus 102 is 486. And rock is 12 more. 12 more means 432. Now, let us uh, add these two. 918, 588 plus 420, 588 plus 420 is 9, 10, 5, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 5, 10. Okay. So, this data we got from this castlet. Now, it will be very easy to solve the questions. Okay. Now, the first question from this castlet is, what is the ratio of Number of pop songs to rock songs composed by man. Pop songs to rock songs, which means 486 by 432. This is what has been asked. Okay. So, I can cancel it by 2. Okay. 243 by 216. Now, I can cancel it by 9. Twenty seven by twenty four again by three nine is to eight. So option B is my answer. Next, what is the total number of songs composed by Bohemia? So Bohemia composed one zero zero eight songs. Option C is your answer. Then what is the average number of rock songs composed by Arijit and Mithun together? Arijit and Mithun and rock songs. So Arijit is seven hundred twenty and Mithun is 840 1560 by 2 it is 780 option a is your answer here okay the next question is number of pop songs composed by mithun is how much person more or less than the number of pop songs composed by arijit so, pop songs composed by Mithun is 735 and by Arijit it is 540. How much percent more or less than Arijit? So, Arijit will be in the denominator. 735 minus 540 is how much? 195. 195 by uh, 540 into 100, this is what you have to find out. So, let us reduce this fraction. Okay, we can cancel this by 15. So, 15, 1 is 15, 4 and 5, okay, 15, 3. Okay, and in the denominator, it will be 36. So, 13 by 36. 13 is how much percentage of 36? So, 30 percent of 36 is 3.6 into 3 which is 10.8 okay now if you deduct 10.8 from 13 it comes to be 2.2 okay so 2.2 how can you get so 0.36 into 6 is 2.16 so 30 percent plus 6 percent that is 36 percent this will be your closest okay this is 12.96 almost equal to 13 so 36 percent should be your answer that is option d next what is the difference between total number of songs composed by mithun and that are the same by man so mithun minus man 
मिठून इज वन फाइव सेवन फाइव माइनस नाइन हंड्रेड एंड एटीन फाइव देन दिस इज ओके सिक्स फिफ्टी सेवन इज योर आंसर ऑप्शन सी This is a line graph here. The blue line denotes the total number of boys, and the red line denotes the total number of girls. Okay, and number of boys plus number of girls is equal to the total number of students in six institutes A, B, C, D, E, and F. The values are given in the y-axis. Now, before proceeding with this di, you have to find out. the value of each space for finding that out 234 minus 144 is equal to 90 okay and how many spaces are there 1 2 3 4 5 five spaces are there so 90 by 5 is equal to 18 so the value of each space is 18 okay fine value of each space is 18 means this portion this one this line the value of this line is 144 plus 18 This is one forty four plus eighteen plus eighteen. In this way, you have to uh, find out the values. Okay. So the first question is, what is the ratio of the total number of students in Institute A and in Institute F? So the total number of students in Institute A is two hundred and thirty four minus eighteen because this one is it is here it is two hundred and thirty four. And you have to go just one point below, and the value of each point is eighteen. So two hundred and thirty-four minus eighteen is two hundred and sixteen. Next, next is the number of girls. Number of girls is five hundred and ninety-four plus eighteen. So five hundred and ninety-four plus eighteen is six hundred and twelve. So two hundred and sixteen plus six hundred and twelve is the total number of students in institute. A, okay. So two hundred and sixteen plus six hundred and twelve is eight two eight eight hundred and twenty eight. Now you have to find out the total number of students in Institute F. In Institute F, the number of girls is how much? Number of girls is three hundred and twenty four minus eighteen minus eighteen, which means three hundred and twenty four minus thirty six, which is two hundred and eighty eight plus. Plus the number of boys. The number of boys is how much? The number of boys is here, which means six hundred and eighty-four minus eighteen minus eighteen. Six hundred and eighty-four minus thirty-six, which is six hundred and forty-eight. So total two eighty-eight plus six hundred and forty-eight is six three and nine nine hundred and thirty-six. Now you have to find out the ratio. So eight hundred twenty-eight by nine hundred and thirty-six. So at first I'll cancel these two by four. So th this comes to be two hundred and seven. And here in the denominator it will be two hundred and thirty-four. Yes. Then I'll cancel these two by nine. This is. This becomes twenty three, and in the denominator, this becomes twenty six. So twenty three by twenty six. Option B is your answer. Next question. The next question is: Out of the total number of students from Institute C and D together, thirty seven point five percent are from Society X Y Z. Find the number of students in Institute C and D together who are who are not from Society X Y Z. Okay, so let's find the number of students in Institute C and D at first. In C, the number of girls is five hundred and four. This is for C, and the number of boys is here. It is one forty four plus eighteen plus eighteen. That is one forty four plus thirty six. So one forty four plus thirty six will be one hundred and eighty. So five forty plus one hundred and eighty is four eight and six six hundred eighty four. Now the total number of students in Institute D. Institute D in Institute D number of girls is two hundred and thirty four plus eighteen. So two hundred and thirty four plus eighteen is two hundred and fifty two, and 
the number of boys is 594 minus 18. So 594 minus 18 is 576. So add these two. If you add these two, it will come 828. Okay. So now add 684 plus 828. 828 plus 684 is 2151. So 1512. Okay. Now 37.5% is equal to 3 by 8. We all know this. Now find the number of students in institute C and D together who are not from society XYZ. Not from society XYZ means 8 minus 3, 5 by 8. 5 by 8 of them are not from society XYZ. So 5 by 8 into 1512. Now just cancel this by 8. It will be 189. So 5 into 189 will be 945. Okay. So option B is your answer. Okay. 6th July se start ho raha hai. A uh, complete batch course for SPI PO prelims. And in this course, reasoning will be taken by Naresh sir, Kwans by Narendra sir, and English by me. English sessions will be uh, at 7 pm, and uh, English sessions are going to start on 13th July. Uh, on first on first of July, a practice course on English for SBI PO and clerk means is going to start, and uh, in this uh, course there are there are thirteen lessons, and then on twentieth July, a practice course on English through previous year questions is going to start, and in this course I will be discussing previous year questions. Five sessions uh, will be on mains level questions and three sessions will be on pre-level questions also from 15th of june a complete batch for sbi pure 2020 is going to start uh, reasoning will be taken by ankush sir at 10 10 am quants by ashish sir english by sakshi ma'am and current affairs by kapil sir all these courses are on Anacademy Plus. So if you wish to subscribe to Anacademy Plus, please use my coupon code Annie to avail a discount of 10%. A-N-N-I-E, Annie. Okay. Uh, and also, uh, please follow my profile. The link to my profile is given in the description box down below. Uh, I take free classes from Monday to Thursday at 9 a.m. Free live sessions. Okay. Also, uh, please follow my telegram channel. There you will get updates uh, for all my free classes. Okay. I'll see you again in my next session. Bye.